Sharks are crazy badass predators, as we all know. These fish are pretty much the main reason the ocean is such a scary place for humans. But can anything out there defeat a shark? You might think not, but you are about to be shocked, amazed, and surprised, because there are some incredible creatures that can indeed take on a shark and live to tell the tale. From the massive reptile that isn't afraid of anything, to the shark who faced off against another shark, here's 20 times sharks messed with the wrong opponent. <sighs> Number 20. Fight between giant crocodile called Brutus and bull shark. Brutus is one of Australia's and the world's most well-known crocodiles. Brutus is fortunate enough to still be alive in the wild, and the 80-year-old is at the top of most crocodile tourists' must-see list. The enormous Brutus is known for his ability to leap into the air and grab big portions of dead kangaroo held by tour operators over the side of the tour boat. Brutus has seen a lot of attention in his long life, and he's a croc. that hasn't let losing a leg stop him. His front right leg was bitten off in a shark struggle, although it had to have been a really courageous or dumb shark. Like the one in this video, tourists watched in awe as the three-legged, 18-foot saltwater crocodile squared off against a bull shark in a tremendous battle. On the banks of the Adelaide River in Kakadu National Park in the Northern Territory, Brutus was witnessed grappling with the shark between its jaws. The shark looked to be no match for the 80-year-old reptile who had the marine creature firmly in his clutches despite lacking a front limb and most of his teeth. Andrew Pice and his family were on an hour-long nature tour when his seven-year-old daughter was left awestruck. So were the rest of the people on board, including the guide. He had never seen it before either, and he had been there for about 30 years. He was so excited, he said, and the guide took the boat in for a closer look, and lo and behold, it was a shark. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Shark eats another shark in accident at a South Korean aquarium. In a turf battle, one of South Korea's largest sharks ate another, according to an aquarium. An eight-year-old female sand tiger shark measuring 7.22 feet long is alleged to have gently devoured a smaller five-year-old male shark, measuring roughly 3.5 feet in length. In the first such incidents at Seoul's Coex Aquarium, the attack is alleged to have occurred early Thursday evening, and the female was seen swimming with the body of her tank member hanging out of her mouth around 10 minutes later. Only the tip of the tail remained after 21 hours. The tail is likely to linger in the shark's jaws for four to five days, according to the aquarium. The species unable to digest it will vomit it after roughly a week, says the aquarium. The sand tiger shark is a type of shark that may be found in both subtropical and temperate waters all around the world. It dwells among sandy beaches on the continental shelf. They may be found in Japan, Australia, South Africa, the Mediterranean, and the east coasts of North and South America's oceans. Despite its frightening appearance and superb swimming ability, it is a common and slow-moving shark with no known human casualties, the body of this species is strong. And the head is sharp and pointed. Their food consists of bony fish, crabs, squid, skates, and other sharks. Unlike other sharks, the sand tiger can take air from the surface, allowing it to glide effortlessly through the water column. Intrauterine cannibalism, also known as embryophagy, or adolphophagy, meaning eating one's brother, is a reproductive strategy in which the best developed embryo feeds on its siblings throughout pregnancy. This sand tiger didn't seem to have grown out of her cannibal phase yet. Number 18. Shark vs. Sea Snake 
In this video from 2001, scientists were observing sharks attracted to some bait attached to a metal pole. One shark approaches and wants to take a bit, but realizes that there's a sea snake right there, and it's time to change dinner plans. However, another shark comes later, and while there's no snake to fear, he just eats the entire metal pole instead. Despite being among the most venomous snakes on the planet, sea snakes are a popular food for tiger sharks and shark Bay. When tiger sharks eat the snake, they are unaffected by the venom. Sea snakes aren't terrified of sharks, they just don't bother them. This is not a hard and fast rule. Tiger sharks have been known to eat highly venomous stonefish, poisonous puffers, bottle tins, a ship's logbook, and a wooden tom-tom -tom in some areas. The banded sea crate is eaten by marine birds, sharks, and certain bony fish. Other predators follow banded sea crates across the reef, attacking any tiny fish that the snakes scare away while looking for eels. But if you're not a shark, don't mess with the these watery snakes. The venom of the beaked sea snake, for example, is so poisonous that three drips of it can instantly kill eight people. Sea snake bites are uncommon in general, and envenomation is very rare. Only 3% of sea snake bites result in death. Despite the fact that sea snakes have incredibly strong venom, around 80% of recorded bites are dry. Every year, between 15,000 and 75,000 fishermen are bitten by sea snakes. Snake bite deaths have been decreased to roughly 3% of cases because to the development of antivenom and developments in emergency treatment. Number 17. Huge bird of prey catches shark-like fish on beach. Due to the behavior of one bird, visitors to a beach last week saw something amazing, a shark-like fish hovering above their heads. A video posted to YouTube shows a large predatory bird with what seems to be a shark dangling in its claws over spectators in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Kelly Burbage, who observed the act, posted the video online on Friday, asking wildlife specialists to identify the fish and bird. The so-called shark was quickly identified as a ladyfish, a coastal species with sharp teeth and a dorsal fin that may grow to be more than three feet long. On Tuesday, a Twitter account published the same video online, and the 25-second film has been seen by almost 16 million people. Anyone know what type of bird this is, and is it holding a shark? Inquired the tracking shark account post, which received thousands of comments and shares. The bird was identified as an osprey by Twitter users, with one writing, definitely an osprey. This is a ladyfish indeed, remarked another, while others argued over whether the fish was a little shark, mackerel, or bluefish. However, one individual speculated that it was a delivery driver from Uber Eats. Number 16. Shark attacks bird, seagull, out of nowhere, but failed to catch it. Here's one lucky seagull. It managed to survive this encounter with a great white shark. That's maybe the luckiest thing of all time. The great white shark is a large mackerel shark that may be found in the surface waters of all of the world's seas. It is well known for its size, with the largest females reaching a length of 6.1 meters. Great white sharks, according to a 2014 study, may live up to 70 years or more, making them one of the world's longest living cartilaginous fish. On rare occasions, the killer whale is the sole known natural predator of the great white shark. It is one of the most important predators of marine mammals up to the size of enormous baleen whales, and it is possibly the world's largest extant macro-predatory fish. Fish and seabirds are among the other marine species that this shark has been known to devour. In Peter Benchley's novel Jaws and Steven Spielberg's film adaptation, the great white shark is depicted as a vicious man-eater. Humans are not a favored meal of the great white shark. That's a relief. However, the shark sometimes 
sometimes has unexpected enemies. On a New Jersey beach, a seagull was recorded on camera biting and eating a young shark in an area where violent birds are becoming more common. As a second opportunistic opponent arrives, the bird consumes the majority of its prey. According to reports, it was filmed by a beachgoer named Rebecca Stout. Number 15. Penguin Barely Escapes Shark Attack Look at this incredible penguin as he narrowly avoids being eaten by two sharks. Some people said they are sharks. To me, they look like whales. But hey, at least this penguin lived to tell the tale about the time he fought off an army of 400 great white sharks on his own. Penguins are a species of flightless aquatic birds. They are nearly entirely distributed in the southern hemisphere, with only the Galapagos penguin found north of the equator. Penguins have countershaded dark and white plumage and flippers for swimming, making them well adapted to live in the sea. The majority of penguins eat krill, fish, squid, and other marine creatures that they catch while swimming underwater. They dwell on land for about half of their life and in the water for the other half. In general, bigger penguins prefer prefer colder temperatures, whereas smaller penguins prefer temperate or tropical climates. Some prehistoric penguin species were massive, standing as tall as or weighing as much as an adult person. Number 14. Shark vs. Stingray on the Great Barrier Reef Stingrays are a type of sea ray that is related to sharks and is a cartilaginous fish. However, as we can see here, this doesn't deter sharks from attempting to eat their cousins. But this stingray has a brilliant plan. He'll escape to the beach. The only concern is that he'll drown out of the water. As a result, he must return to the sea, where the shark awaits him once more. Stingrays may be found in tropical and subtropical coastal seas all around the world. There are around 220 stingray species, which are divided into 10 families and 29 genera. Stingray species are becoming increasingly threatened or susceptible to extinction, especially as a result of unrestricted fishing. The IUC Janus classified 45 species as fragile or endangered as of 2013. Because the status of certain additional species is unknown, they are classified as data deficient. Stingrays are typically not aggressive, attacking humans only when provoked, such as when a ray is mistakenly trodden on. One, two, or three blades can be seen on stingrays. Contact with the spinal blade or blades produces local damage due to the cut, pain, edema, muscular spasms from the venom, and infection from bacteria or fungus later on. Unless the stinger pierces a sensitive area, the damage is extremely painful but seldom fatal. Number 13. Octopus Kill Shark the giant Pacific octopus, which can grow to be 20 feet long and achieve speeds of up to 25 miles per hour, appears to be one of the most dangerous creatures of the deep. It possesses two rows of suckers on each of its eight limbs, which may be employed to make a scary parachute to grab its victim. A large mouth in the center of its massive body includes a terrifying toothed tongue. The giant Pacific octopus prefers to swim in the dark and muddy depths of the ocean, more than 6,000 feet below the surface. The octopus can creep gently around the seabed using its arms and legs, and despite its enormous size, it can squeeze into surprisingly small crevices. In fact, anything slightly larger than the octopus's single hard portion, the beak in its mouth, may be slunk through since its entire structure can collapse. With three hearts and blue blood, it seems like something that belongs in a science fiction story rather than being readily available to humans. However, one of the gigantic beasts is on display in an aquarium in Seattle, Washington, and employees observed something unusual. The Seattle Aquarium also boasts of a colony of dogfish sharks, and staff couldn't figure out why so many of them were missing, leaving just partially damaged bodies behind. That is, until they looked into the activities of their giant Pacific octopus, they discovered the massive beast was as terrible as it appeared, and was slowly killing the sharks that came near it, after setting up cameras to record it nightly. Number 12. Shark vs. Brave Fisherman After being attacked off Australia's west coast, 
A bricklayer described how he fought off a big, great white shark with a fishing spear. Joe Petrovic was diving alone near Perth's beaches when the 15-foot monster chased him for 10 horrifying minutes. When the dangerous animal began to slowly circle him, he was spearfishing around 250 meters from his boat. Joe claimed he swam furiously towards his watercraft, panicking, but the shark followed him the entire way. The shark ultimately came for Joe after around five minutes, and Joe speared it in the head in an attempt to flee according to 7 News. However, the shark returned for more, biting off a portion of the Australian's flipper as it rushed for his foot. Joe said he felt he'd be fine if he could get back to his boat, which was much smaller than the shark. On Saturday, Joe and his friends were in a small boat about a mile off the shore at Burns Beach when they decided to dive for Snapper. His spearfishing buddies, on the other hand, were completely unaware of his near-death experience. The shark lingered near the boat for another 10 minutes before the guys were able to flee. He said I was, um, can't use that word, um, I was sheet scared. I mean, how would you be? I think I'm going to lose one leg and I might lose the bottom half of the other one as well. You've only got one shot. It's very hard to kill an animal that big. If you wound it, you are only going to make it angrier. Number 11. Massive Elephant Seal Chases Great White Shark Away From Seal Colony At Rawberg Nature Reserve Luca Osthausen, 14, captured footage of the giant elephant seal scaring away the shark as it attempted to swim towards a fur seal colony at the Rawberg National Reserve in Rawberg, South Africa. Mariella Rossi, Luca's mother, claimed her son, an aspiring wildlife photographer, had gone out that day to attempt to catch some great white shark photos. While swimming, he realized that something the size of one of the underwater boulders was moving and chased the shark. She added, This elephant seal apparently frequents our bay around seal calving season and has been given the name Solo by residents. The shark can be seen approaching the Cape fur seals in the footage, but before it gets too close, a big shadow can be seen approaching the shark. Solo, according to Rossi, was able to avoid the shark. Very well done. And in case you didn't know, great white sharks can move when they need to, as seen by new drone footage taken near Capo Beach in California. When photographer Matt Larmand was out shooting film with his drone, he saw a great white and began following it. However, after detecting the drone's shadow, it appeared to be startled and swam away quickly. In an interview, Larmand said, He was going at least 20 miles per hour. I was going full throttle on the drone, trying to catch up to him. He added, I'm not sure what triggered him to burst into speed like that. I've never seen one do that. Number 10. Orcas Attack Great White Shark, Neptune Islands, South Australia a pod of killer whales in South Australia slammed and killed a great white shark. Divers who saw a family pod of killer whales in South Australia kill a huge white shark described it as the tidal battle of all tidal bouts. The divers say they observed the assault while shark cage diving in the Neptune Islands off the coast of the Lower Ear Peninsula. It featured a family of orcas, including two calves, according to the authorities. The whales were propelling themselves out of the water and banging at the Great White, according to charter operator Matt Waller. If that's what they're seeing on the surface, then I can only imagine that under the surface you had other whales that were working to try and keep this shark up, he said. It never actually went down, it stayed on the surface and was trying to get away. Mr. Waller said it was the first time he had seen two apex predators of the marine world fight. It's like the tidal fight of all tidal fights, he said. People were crying, people were laughing, people were swearing. They were at the height of emotion. Gina Dickinson, a member of the crew, and a marine scientist claimed the shark was finally killed beneath the surface. But she could see the orca's pod's movements. They were teaching the young, rounding it up in order to attack. She said, the intelligence behind it was just fantastic. It was definitely the highlight of my career. Not much is probably going to top this. Number 9. 
Dolphins Fight Off Shark Large sharks hunt dolphins, focusing on extremely young calves and sick adult dolphins, since they are the weakest and most susceptible. In some regions of the world, such as the Sarasota, Florida community, where one-third of the dolphins have scars from shark bites, the dolphins living in coastal waters in Australia. Sharks are important predators of dolphins. The major defense that dolphins have against shark attacks is safety in numbers. They form pods and defend one another by pursuing and slamming the shark. Young dolphins, injured or ill dolphins, and other vulnerable members of their pods and extended families are all protected by dolphins. To ram sharks, dolphins utilize their massive snouts as a powerful weapon, causing damage to their fragile underbelly and gills. Larger members of the dolphin family are less vulnerable to sharks, Orcas are the ocean's top predators, and sharks are a favorite meal for some of them. Great white sharks are attacked and killed by orcas simply to consume their livers, which are a high-energy food source. Number 8. Sea Turtle vs. Shark Researchers discovered that sea turtles do not change their motions to escape shark attacks, implying that they are tougher than most of us. According to recent research, sea turtles don't appear to allow the prospect of being eaten alive stop them from living their lives. Off the coast of Western Australia, incredible footage of a turtle battling off a shark before making a quick escape has surfaced. When a tiger shark whips into the picture, the turtle is observed swimming through the water from a camera set just above its head. According to experts who watched the film, the turtle attacked the shark with aggressive biting lunges, battling it off before speeding away. Despite popular belief that turtles are peaceful creatures who hide behind their protective shells, the footage demonstrates that they are capable of fighting back if threatened. Jenna Hoonslow, a PhD student at Murdoch University's Harry Butler Institute, was amazed to observe the turtle vigorously protecting itself by attempting to bite the approaching shark. She believes researchers may have ignored the violent anti-predator behavior in the past since technology just recently made it able to document an animal's point of view for extended periods underwater. Number 7. One Bull Shark Swim Off Against 10 Plus Hippos the video was shot by tour operator Stacy Farrell in South Africa's Simangaliso Wetland Park and shows a bull shark, often known as a Zambezi shark, swimming directly into a herd of hippos. Because these enormous animals aren't fussy about where to dump their excrement, they frequently attract swarms of hungry fish. The water was dirty and the shark began to collide with the hippo, prompting them to attack. The shark was far quicker and escaped at the last possible moment. Bull sharks get their name from the fact that they are among the most aggressive sharks and the only large shark species not afraid of humans. As a result, many people believe the bull shark to be the deadliest of all sharks, and they are unaffected by brackish or even fresh water, which is why bull sharks are regularly spotted in the Amazon River. This shark, like a bull shark, enjoys butting its prey to render it unconscious before consuming it. They are stocky, muscular sharks that may reach a length of 13 feet, with females being much larger than males. They are related to tiger sharks and white sharks, and they have a great number of razor-sharp teeth placed in rows that the shark can spin, just like its cousins. Furthermore, the bull shark has by far the strongest bite force of any shark, with a biting force of 1,300 psi. Number 6. Electric Eel – King of the Eels Makes Sharks Also Scared Few individuals would deliberately be shocked by an electric eel, but one brave biologist did it in the cause of study. In a statement, Vanderbilt University's Kenneth Catania adds, We've known these animals give off a huge amount of electricity, and everybody thought that was really amazing. But they aren't just simple animals that go around shocking stuff. Catania illustrated how eels might rush out of the water and pour their terrifying strength into whatever they were targeting in a study released last year. 
To encourage the leaps, the researchers used artifacts like imitation human limbs and crocodile heads, but accolades weren't enough for his most recent experiment, which was published in the journal Current Biology last week. He wanted to see how powerful these critters' jolts are, so he used his own arm to do so. According to Jake Bueller of Gizmodo, Electrophorus electricus, which is technically an electric fish rather than an eel, generates its iconic electric charge using three huge organs in its lengthy body. The eels can trigger these shifts at a moment notice to send the charges from thousands of electrocytes pulsing out of their bodies into an object or creature. Electrocyte cells in these organs create charges by moving sodium and potassium around, and the eels can stimulate these shift patterns at a moment's notice to send the charges from multitudes of electrocytes thrumming out their bodies into an item or living thing. Number 5. Whale Shark Collides with Manta Ray the two enormous monsters crashed in an ocean tank at the Georgia Aquarium in the United States. The whale shark swims right towards the stingray that is floating above it in the video. After the slow-moving shark head butts the ray with enormous power, the two battle. Before attempting to exit the scene by swimming over the beast, the ray is forced a meter backwards. Hundreds of other fish swim around the couple, keeping a safe distance. Whale sharks are said to be extremely calm creatures, with snorkeling being able to swim alongside them securely. The video, which was shot in 2010, resurfaced on GifCat this week and has now been seen over 5 million times. The shark was described as an absolute unit by one spectator. Number 4. Seal Escapes from Shark in the seas near South Africa, a seal dodged the lethal jaws of an approaching great white shark by balancing on the shark's nose before diving back into the water and swimming away. Photographer David Jenkins of Dublin, Ireland, captured the astonishing photographs above and below while aboard a great white shark tour boat off the coast of Cape Town. They indicate how dangerous the seal was, since the white shark obviously missed its prey when approaching from underneath, as white sharks are known to do. The shark's snout appeared to have pulled the seal up into the air, but the seal managed to hold on before fleeing. The seals were making their way back to Seal Island after feeding out at sea, and the sharks traveled below them, Jenkins said. According to Yahoo News UK, the sharks are really well camouflaged due to their dark backs, and when the seal looks down, it is hard to make out the shark in the dark below. When the shark picks its time to attack, it can accelerate at around 25 miles miles per hour upwards, which can send both the shark and the seal flying up out of the water. Number 3. Catfish vs. Teenage Shark Catfish are a varied group of ray-finned fish named for its feline-like whiskers, which are really barbels that operate as a protection mechanism, unlike other fish that have scales. Catfish can exist in a variety of environments, including salt water, fresh water, and brackish water. It all depends on the catfish. Some enjoy stagnant water, while others love rivers and streams with fast-moving currents. Some catfish species are diurnal, while others are nocturnal. All commercial food fish production in the United States is accounted for by Channel Catfish, a category that comprises more than 45 species. The fish has almost as many regional nicknames as there are species. Mudcat, Pollywogs, Chuckleheads, Giant Bullheads, Shovelheads, Scoopers, and Flatties are just a few of the names given to them in the United States. Only six species of catfish have been cultivated for commercial production in North America, despite the fact that there are almost 40 species. Aside from that, several catfish Fish species make wonderful pet fish and aquarium companions. Number 2. Tourist Captures Shark Biting Alligator's Foot in South Carolina while it was minding its own business at a dock in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, a sly shark circled an alligator and chewed on its foot. Corey Conlon captured a video of a shark and an alligator appearing near the water's surface before the shark chooses to approach the alligator and eat its foot. Onlookers toss bits of fish into the water to feed the two. Oh. 
The alligator replies by charging in the direction of the shark, while the shark swims beneath the gator. A view of an alligator basking near the docks was being enjoyed by several nature lovers. A shark was seen circling beneath the alligator on video. The shark then nibbled at the alligator's left leg, forcing it to leap, but the animal appeared unhurt. The shark proceeded to swim beneath the alligator as it resumed its suntanning. Number 1. Barracuda vs. Shark while a barracuda bite is more frequent than a shark bite, the risk of dying from a barracuda bite is zero. The aggressive behavior of these fish is the source of their fear factor. These predatory fish have razor-sharp teeth and tiny jaws, and they attack with ferocity. The barracuda is recognized for being an aggressive, dominating predator that uses the surprise method to grab its prey. Apart from sharks, killer whales, bigger barracudas, huge tuna, and dolphins, barracudas have few natural predators due to their great size. A newborn lemon shark barely escapes the claws of an enraged barracuda in this video, showing how they will even risk attacking shark young. The great barracuda, sometimes known as the giant barracuda, is a massive predatory ray finned fish found in subtropical seas across the world. Barracudas are scavengers who may mistake snorkelers for predators and follow them, hoping to eat their prey's leftovers. Swimmers have been bitten by barracudas, however, such incidents are infrequent and may be owing to poor visibility. Would you ever mess with a shark? What animal do you think a shark could not defeat? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.